Hello everyone, welcome back to my strategic management lecture series and uh, we are in chapter 4 and we so far we discussed situation analysis, project management, techniques and then we also discussed portfolio management or a portfolio analysis. These three things we discussed and the last one is strategic alternatives so this point we already touched in portfolio also what are the different different strategies they can uh, use it so here uh, there are strategic alternatives where we will be discussing those two tools or a frameworks gluec and jaws generic strategic alternatives and porter generic strategy i don't take much time on these two uh, strategic alternatives uh, uh, tools or a framework because these things we discussed this the uh, strategic alternatives we discussed multiple times in earlier videos i suggest please go through all the videos of chapter 4 and then come to this strategic alternatives video otherwise uh, you feel that it is a very very speed video and i'm not giving any explanation in this video okay gluec and jaws generic strategic alternatives Okay, this is <coughs> generally based on the situation in an organization. Companies can take stability focused decision, expansion focused decision or a strategy, a retrenchment focused strategy or a combination of all these three. So these are the three uh, plus one, four combination strategies companies can take based on certain this certain uh, uh, factors uh, with environmental internal and external environmental analysis or a product uh, industry life cycle or competitiveness of a company based on various uh, factors companies can decide any one of these strategy the first one is stability summarily if i want to say what is stability is do nothing new strategy don't do anything remain wherever you are and try to safeguard current business interest and strengths okay the no need to do any new investment or a new strategy and make continuous improvement incremental improvement 10000 sales 10500 sales next month 10700 sales units of sales next year sorry next month so make a continuous improvement in your sales and product quality nothing new strategy it is all about positioning your product strong in existing market with existing products because this is our well established and tested field for company so no need to do any new strategies maintain stability the next one is expansion which is summary here is growth strategy invest in new product expand to a new market do lot of development and taking corporate to a next level okay it might be an internal expansion or external expansion expand the business product and the factory output capacity and other thing and otherwise also expand the company's uh, portfolio market and other things by way of acquisition and purchase so this is a growth strategy for a company retrenchment when company is not in a position uh, to make a huge profit as other things then company may try to degrowth or a cutback okay company may decide to cut back investment there Keep maintain a sustainability and maintain for a couple of months and then exit okay this is called as a degrowth strategy <coughs> so it is a three-dimensional strategy so where it is focusing on uh, improvement in performance by scaling down the business there is always a possibility because company is spread into too many products if as an individual you are doing cs ca cma all together and then you feel that there is no time for all these things you will cut down on two courses like ca and cma you will focus on cs first you will finish one and then you will start the second one and third one so that's why 
it might be improvement in performance of one and then cutting down to scaling down other products or other objectives. Otherwise, it might be cutting down, cutting down of complete cost of the company or otherwise cutting the scale of operations of the company. So any option can be selected in retrenchment. It is not that complete shutdown. Shutdown part of it, focus on more on one area. Otherwise, completely focus on reducing the cost. In that way, your profitability can be improved. Otherwise, uh, reduce the scale of operations through uh, divestment of some of the units or a divisions. Okay. And the fourth one is combination of these three based on the product life cycle, industry life cycle. Uh, for particular product, you can take a stability related strategy for a certain product where it is growing good, then take an expansion strategy. If product is not doing good, do a retrenchment strategy. So all these are not mutually exclusive. Organization can take any combination to decide. Gluec and JAWS, generic strategic alternatives. So growth strategy we already discussed multiple times. Stable strategy also we discussed. Divestment strategies we always discuss. So I'm not taking much time or I'm not giving any examples here. Moving on, Porter's strategy. Again, this we discussed multiple times given by uh, Porter in his book called Competitive Advantage, Creating and Sustaining Superior Performance. Michael E. Porter has given this generic uh, strategies. His strategies includes uh, overall cost leadership, and then differentiation and then differentiation focus. Okay, cost leadership and differentiation are the two different strategies. Uh, strategies. Under that again, they can focus on cost focused or differentiation focused. Okay, this is called, both are called as a focus strategies. So total under Porter's generic strategy, we have three. One is overall cost leadership, Second one is differentiation and the third one is a focus strategy. Focus is divided into cost focus and differentiation focus. This is all based on competitive advantage of the company and then competitive scope. OK, so again, two by two matrix competitive advantage, whether it is a low cost or high cost. And then competitive scope narrow or a broad. OK, with these two combinations, there is a four, uh, three different strategies which company has to follow. What is overall cost leadership? Winning a market by appealing cost conscious consumers. Most of the consumers are what? They look for high quality product at a cheaper price. So achieve a cost leadership, produce goods at a lower price and capture the market. That's a cost leadership strategy. What is the differentiation strategy? Many customers are focusing on a cost, but there are certain segment of customers. They look for some product differentiation. They always want to say to their friends that my product is superior to you. My product is having certain features in it. So create a differentiation in your product and reach the target customers and increase the price of the product. They are OK, but they should give <coughs> quality product with a differentiated features. So in that case, company will apply the differential strategy. And then the focus strategy is known as a niche strategy. So it is all about differentiation is completely for a high end niche product luxury cars. They don't focus for 90% uh, uh, of the population. They focus only 10% of the population and create a product for a niche. If it is a product differentiation, then it is a differentiate product uh, differentiation focus. Otherwise, if it is a cost focused, then it is of a cost reduction thing and a cost focus strategy. So this is all about Porter's generic strategy. So Gluec and Jaws said stability, expansion and retrenchment are three strategies and these are not mutually exclusive. It can be done in combination. Porter again overall cost leadership and differentiation 
and the focus strategies focus strategy may be a for niche class it is a differentiated uh, product or completely cost focused strategies okay so this is all about uh, strategic alternatives where is brief video because these points we discussed multiple times and i don't want to uh, stress more here uh, i i suggest once again <coughs> go through the entire chapter 4 videos and then come to this particular uh, video thank you so much guys thank you so much and i request you to go through uh, the videos from the beginning because there is a lot of linkages from every topic to a topic a lot of matrices we have seen here in this uh, chapter so list down all the product all the tools whether it is for sensitive analysis or uh, sorry situation analysis or for project management portfolio analysis and strategic alternatives and what are the dimensions are measured on the matrix side please make those notes of those matrix horizontal what is axis uh, on a uh, uh, vertical axis what is used and what are the different strategies we need to uh, see in those matrix list it down then that summary will give you a lot of edge for your revisions thank you thank you so much and focus on your studies all the best request you to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you